Always learn something when Hilton Head Mayor John McCann joins us. Before we look ahead to the town's plan for the future, we got to go back to something that you and town council did just before the end of 2020. You called an emergency meeting. You hired a new town manager. Explain. Well, it wasn't really as easy as that. Okay. And we started the process out by interviewing a search firm. That took a while. Right. Then we hired a search firm, and they produced about 118, 120 some odd candidates applied. And from them, uh, he gave us 36, and we narrowed it down to about seven or eight. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time we got finished picking our six or seven we wanted to interview, we had lost three or four of them. Right. Uh, we ended up with a gentleman from uh, Colorado and our uh, town manager right now, our acting town manager right now. Right. Now, just for clarification, Josh Gruber, his application was in with the first applicants that come into the consulting firm. Okay. So he wasn't added on like the packet said at a later date. All right. He, he was there from the very, very beginning. When we got down to two, we thought- But he was not a recommendation of the search firm? No, he was, he was part of the- Or uh, was he part of that group? He was part of that group, part okay. of the original group. All right. So it wasn't that he was added in at the last minute. He okay. was always part of the group. Uh, then we got to the end and there was only two left and we, the council thought that wasn't a representative of what we really needed, and we decided to put it on hold for a while. Right. So we put it on hold, and our intention was to go out in the spring. That's the last you and I talked? That was, yeah, that was the plan, right. right. But we also decided that if somebody came along that wanted to be interviewed, we would interview that person. There was one individual who came along from, a, from a, one of the counties in Georgia that wanted to be interviewed. Uh, but after three times of him putting it off, we knew he wasn't real. Okay. Then I got a call one day that I should call Mark Orlando mm -hmm. from um, Bluffton. I called Mark. Mark said he was interested. I sat down and talked to Mark. And I asked Mark why he didn't join the first group. Mm -hmm. He was under the understanding that if he had searched for another job after he had unsuccessfully searched for the county job a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. that his town council could conceivably let him go. Okay. So he wasn't about to expose his job and his family to that. Sure. But now that there was no publicly, publicly about it, that he talked to me and he expressed his interest on coming to the town of Hilton Head. I mean, Mark's first job when he yeah. came here was Hilton Head. I was going to say, he used to work in That's the planning right. he department. For right. us. He worked for three years for us, and then he went on to some private business and then on to Bluffton. So I introduced Mark one by one to the council members which was only really four because two of them had already known him okay. and his business dealings and everything. At the end of the inter interview and two from before, the council said, I think we should go forward with this. Okay. Now, we didn't need to publish it. Like people say, you, when it's three, you have to publish it. You have to publish it in the paper when you do a major search and it comes down to the final three. When you do it an individual person who came in, you don't have to do that. So we decided that everybody liked them. We decided then to bring it to uh, the council, the council executive session. Everybody thought it was a good idea. Um, we went through the process of doing it. Uh, the council, vote, council voted six to one uh, to offer Mark, Mark Orlando a contract. We have offered Mark a contract. Mark has accepted. We think that he'll be here March 1st. Okay. And the reason I use the word think is because he has a 90-day commitment to Bluffton. Okay. Uh, so he didn't just hand in a two-week notice. No, he is committed to get Bluffton into no, the uh, process, obviously, where well, they've got to go find somebody. Yes. All right. What happens to Josh Gruber in the meantime? Josh Gruber, from the day step Steve left on the 31st until now, will become the acting town manager. Okay. When Mark Orlando arrives, Jack, Josh will go back to his old job as being the uh, deputy town manager. All right, let me ask you one quick question about Mark. What makes him special? Why did uh, you guys feel like you needed to do the process the way you did it and uh, and bring him in? Obviously, there's something special there. Well, he knew our community, which was yeah. a good thing. He knew the region, which was which is important to us. He has helped Bluffton do some re reinventing themselves, which is important to us. He had the personnel qualities of handling people, which, which was important. He had all the qualities that we would look for if we went out and looked for the perfect town manager in a search. All right. And that, then, yeah, we said, well, yeah. so why waste any time? Let's, let's make him an offer. All right. Uh, that reinventing is what we're going to talk about next when we come back with more of the mayor and the plan for the next 20 years.